Well, congressional hesitation, there's a euphemism for you, has prevented very much work on the president's proposed border wall, the one that he ran on. But what if a physical wall isn't even necessary? Well, if you read the Washington Post, you already know this. A Washington Post piece says that the president is, quote, building a border wall no one can see. He's doing this, they say, by cutting refugee numbers, speeding deportations, implementing virtual vetting, and simply enforcing immigration law as it exists instead of ignoring it. And in so doing, the paper says he's creating what some are calling a virtual wall around the country. Roberto Hernandez is an immigration activist, and he joins us tonight. Roberto, thanks all for coming on. Hola. Hola. So um, I, I wanted to talk to you because you're kind of like my measure of where the left is on this. So here's what we know, at least according to the Washington Post, which I'll stipulate for the purpose of this conversation is a legitimate news organization. The president hasn't actually built the wall. All he's doing is enforcing laws that were on the books passed with Democratic support years ago. Is that OK with you? Yeah, I think that we, we live in a country where there is laws. Right. I believe that the problem that we've had is that a lot of these, there's too many laws. And one of the things as uh, the Latino communities, we've been saying we have to take all these different laws and create immigration reform. And every president and every Congress and every Senate in the last 20 years has failed to do that. Well, immigration reform is a meaningless phrase, it can, or it can mean whatever you want it to mean. What you're saying is activists have demanded that people here illegally be given amnesty and then citizenship, and then some people, American citizens, disagree with that. But you, just the headline here seems to me, that you don't, you think it's okay for the president to enforce existing immigration law, right? Yeah, but what, when we're talking about selective immigration law enforcement. What about all the illegal Russians that have been coming here to this country? Yeah, well, I think Nobody's they're in the same category. Well, I'll talk about them right now. I think it's totally wrong to come here illegally. Why not throw every person, regardless of country of origin or ethnicity or native language, out of the country and say, apply like everybody else? I, why would you be against that? But the, the system that we currently have in our government doesn't have the capacity to be able to even process those applications. And that's been part of the problem. Well, then well, what if you just said, look, current law does not allow people to work here if they don't have a green card or the correct papers and if they're using false federal documents. Right? That's the current law, and I think you would never want to defend using fake documents on TV. So what if you just said, we're going to make sure through E-Verify that nobody can employ someone here illegally, and nobody can get welfare if they're here illegally? Then you would see a, and everyone mocks the phrase, but you would see self-deportation because what would be the options? Would you be against that? Well, but let's talk about, you talked about not hiring people, uh, and let's begin by looking at farm workers here in California. You're from California like I am. In California, how many growers that grow grapes, tomatoes, lettuce, and all the fruits and vegetables that we grow in California hire people who are not here with uh, documents? Right, so if you're saying we, that big, if, if big business stop, doesn't like stop, it. Yeah, of course, you know, it's interesting that now the growers are saying we need to have comprehensive reform well, because course. if you had every farm worker in the state of california right making an american wage country, and treated like a human being that would be a disaster for big business yes it would let me ask you really quickly when you were growing up a young but, radical but the, a liberal growers, did you ever think growers, you would find yourself in a position defending big business that wants to pay people less for working outside did you ever think i'm going to grow up and become that guy a shill for business i knew that from a very young age, that farm workers were being mistreated and abused. Yeah, yeah exactly. I was part of the United Farm Workers movement with Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta. Who was radically against illegal immigration, as you know, who physically assaulted illegal immigrants. That goal because yep. you don't have a system that takes care of those who take care of you, who yeah, feeds that, you. That's not what Cesar Chavez says, workers. as you know, as you know. He was totally opposed to immigration and all its forms. Roberto, thank you uh, for joining us. Appreciate it.